Today we're going to talk about one of the more challenging missions available on Space Nation Navigator, Flame Out. Let's get started. Space Nation, Aaron here. We're going to jump right into the Flame Out mission uh, quickly. Uh, one note to keep in mind is this is not a live recording. I could not do both record talk and be able to play the mission at the same time this mission does require a lot of intense thought and concentration so with that in mind we're going to jump in keep note that this will pause for a little bit that will some of these uh, time frames will take longer than they should uh, because i'm explaining something and so when you're doing this live you're going to need to do this a lot faster so just take down the tips and the tricks and kind of memorize those and you'll be able to apply them when you can um, in your next flame out mission. Um, so right off the bat, what you're going to see is basically the gist of this whole mission. You're basically memorizing a sequence of letters or numbers. They're all in sets of three, and you're going to memorize them in order to put them in so you can put out the fires. Okay. So with that in mind, um, you'll see here that there's a series in front of us. It's Hick. Well, let me, I got ahead of myself. It's H-I-C-W-A-N and R-7-Q. Many of them do not have any numbers in them at all, um, but some of them do. And the ones that do not are the ones that I try and turn into phrases or words and phrases. So H-I-C-W-A-N, I turn into hick and then Juan. It's easier for me to remember and turn it into a phrase that I can repeat quickly. So my phrase for these nine letters and numbers in sets of three are Hick, Juan, R7Q. I re try to repeat them at least three times before I go, before the timer runs out. And there are 12 buttons you can push. Each of those 12 buttons has two sequences on them. So in theory, it's really like 24 buttons you could push. Because if Hick and Juan were both on the same, button you'd have to push that button twice so that is something to keep in mind you do have in essence you have like 24 buttons and there is the possibility this doesn't happen very often but there is the possibility that inside of all of your codes that they want you to memorize that there is double so it might say hick in this case twice um, so you might even have the potential to push a button twice or three times or even four times that doesn't happen very often most of the time they're all separated out but there is that potential and you should pay attention to it. Um, so once you've memorized your sequence, I said Hick, Juan, R, 7, Q. Now I, I just go in there and I push them as rapidly as I can. So let's move on to level two. And what we'll see right off the bat is there's five options here. I do the same thing again. I turn them into words if I can. If I can't, I kind of just leave them out until I've memorized the word phrase real fast because that's quick. So for me, UIO is the abbreviation for Quito Airport. So I say Quito, then I move to POC, then I move to Spain, uh, which is SPN, and POC is POQ. Those are that's my phrasing that I can memorize really quickly. So I'll say Quito POC Spain, Quito POC Spain, Quito POC Spain, and pretty much now I have it. Um, after that, I move to the more difficult ones, so NC4, 7QR, they they have numbers in them. It's a little bit harder to turn that into a word obviously. So um, I'll, I'll kind of frame, frame that for last. Um, but what you'll see here is as the time winds down, I'm able to get them in and then I put all five of them in. Now, you may not be able to do that. Get it down to four or get it down to one left. So try and memorize four if you can. That should be fairly easy with a little bit of practice. What you'll see here on mission three is there are a lot. So we are, we're we're sitting here at seven possible, uh, or seven sequences that we need to memorize. That is pretty much impossible for me to do in the uh, eight second allotment that they've given me. So what I do is I implement that process again, and I will say, I will look for the ones that have words or easily said words. So, um, so what I'll do is uh, J-O-P is JOP, and then you see Quito again there for me. And the other one that's actually an easy word is Qui, Q-W-E. I just say Qui. It's not really a word, but it's, it's a sound. It's easier to put into a phrase. So I'll put those in. And what you'll notice here is as my time winds down, that I'm only able to get, uh, yeah, so I'm only able to get five out of the seven, which is fine. And what you'll notice is 
two more pop up for each of them. So now I'm down to six. So really, I've only gotten myself rid of one of them. Um, but now it's it's still more manageable for me. So I do the same process again. And this time I try and get it down to, you know, one if possible, but I'm really only able to get it down to two. Now, what you've noticed here is last time I got it down to two and it popped up two for each one that was left over. So I got a six total. Now it's only popped up one for one of them and two for another. So I have five total. Makes it more simple for me. I haven't found a rhythm there or a pattern. So I think you can pop, it will pop up an additional one or two based on how many you've left over. So sometimes there's a little bit of luck involved, but once you get down to five and four, it's a lot more manageable. And so what you'll see here is that I was able to get it, I was able to get it down to one, which is good because now I can just memorize the next three. Three is much more manageable and it gives me uh, eight seconds to memorize three, which is pretty easy to do. And so at that point, I was able to put in that mission. Now, once you get to level four, what becomes important here is to remember that um, there is just an odds game here at play. So these are all extra missions. They're bonus missions. So it doesn't really matter if you mess them up. But what you'll see here is we have 10 possible options. If you can memorize 10 in one go, no problem. I would be quite astonished and I'm be quite jealous as well. But um, basically it's a numbers game. So I don't even try, what I do here is I do try and do what I mentioned before, which is the, the phrasing and turn some into words. Then after that, you have to remember that it's pretty much just a numbers game. There are 12 buttons. There are 24 options, but there's a high likelihood that if you just start guessing, you're going to get quite a few of them. You have a probably 50% chance. So what you'll see here is I actually end up start guessing and I get um, actually a good chunk of them down. Now that I guess that's, that's fairly lucky. Okay. To get them down to one. And then it's easy to memorize uh, from there. But what you'll see here is I'm able to continue that trend in the next mission as well. Because from here on out, it's, it starts with 10. And I don't even try to worry about memorizing even half of them. I just go with the ones I know that are words that are easy and then guess from there on out. And again, w when you do an incorrect guess, it does pop up additional ones. So you don't want to incorrect in incorrectly too much. but if you do, it's not the end of the world because it's just going to be easy to, to get them after that. So you'll see that what it's done for me is I've correct, incorrectly guessed once, but it didn't pop up any more for the leftovers. It just left those three for me to guess, and that was easy for me to finish off with three. So guessing really doesn't hurt you, specifically in these higher missions when you have such a high probability of getting them right. So I wouldn't worry about that. Because it's not, a, it's not one of those things where if you mess up a bonus point, you're going to ruin your mission have to start over again. So we'll just fast forward to that last level. It's the same process over again. We'll go right to the end. We'll see how many bonus points. So I was able to get 12 bonus points here. The process does work. Remember, you do have the ability to turn these into, you know, kind of for a memorization aid, turn them into words. Uh, which are easier phrases to remember that rather than uh, a series of, of numbers and letters. Uh, make sure that you're just repeating them as many times yourself as you can in that eight second interval that you have. Um, but hopefully this was helpful for you. These are some of the tips and tricks that I have found helpful when beating and getting high bonus points for the flame out mission. So with that in mind, um, if you have any questions, go ahead, leave your comments and questions below. As always, like, subscribe, let me know that I'm giving you the right information, and keep racking up those points, and I will see you at Space Camp in Iceland. See ya.